Cesare Bicarius, On Crimes and Punishments, is a seminal work that fundamentally altered the landscape of legal philosophy and criminal justice systems across the globe. Published in 1764, Bicarius' treatise emerged during the Enlightenment era, a period marked by fervent intellectual inquiry and a desire to challenge traditional structures of power and authority. In this work, Bicaria presents a cogent argument against the prevailing methods of punishment, advocating for a more humane and rational approach to criminal justice. Central to Bicaria's thesis is the principle of utility, derived from the utilitarian philosophy espoused by thinkers like Jeremy Bentham. Bicaria contends that the purpose of punishment should be to deter crime rather than exact revenge. He asserts that punishment must be proportionate to the severity of the crime committed, rejecting the use of torture and excessive brutality as ineffective and unjust means of deterrence. By emphasizing the importance of proportionality and consistency in sentencing, Bicaria lays the groundwork for modern concepts of criminal justice reform. Moreover, Bicaria criticizes the arbitrary and capricious nature of the legal system prevalent in his time. He denounces the use of secret trials and the reliance on circumstantial evidence, arguing that such practices undermine the legitimacy of judicial proceedings and erode public trust in the law. Bicaria's call for transparency and due process resonates with contemporary debates surrounding the rule of law and the protection of individual rights. One of the most enduring contributions of On Crimes and Punishments is Bicaria's advocacy for the abolition of the death penalty. He argues that capital punishment is both morally indefensible and counterproductive in deterring crime. Instead, Bicaria proposes alternative forms of punishment, such as imprisonment and rehabilitation, that aim to reform offenders and reintegrate them into society. His stance against the death penalty foreshadows the abolitionist movement that would gain momentum in the centuries to come. Furthermore, Bicaria challenges the prevailing notion of criminal culpability, advocating for a more nuanced understanding of human behavior and the underlying causes of crime. He rejects the idea of innate wickedness and asserts that individuals are driven by a combination of environmental factors and rational calculation. This perspective foreshadows modern theories of criminology that emphasize the social, economic, and psychological dimensions of criminal behavior. In addition to his substantive arguments, Bicaria's writing style is characterized by clarity, precision, and rhetorical elegance. He employs logical reasoning and empirical evidence to support his claims, making his arguments both persuasive and accessible to a wide audience. Moreover, Bicaria's use of Enlightenment ideals such as reason, tolerance, and progress imbues his work with a sense of optimism and intellectual optimism. Despite the profound impact of On Crimes and Punishments, Bicaria's ideas were not universally embraced in his time. His critique of established legal norms and his advocacy for reform provoked backlash from conservative elements within society. Nevertheless, Bicaria's influence would endure, inspiring generations of legal scholars, policymakers, and activists to pursue the ideals of justice, fairness, and human dignity. In conclusion, Cesare Bicaria's On Crimes and Punishments stands as a seminal work in the history of legal philosophy. Through his eloquent prose and cogent arguments, Bicaria challenges entrenched notions of punishment and criminal justice, advocating for a more humane and rational approach to law enforcement. His emphasis on proportionality, due process, and the abolition of the death penalty continues to resonate in contemporary debates over criminal justice reform. As societies grapple with the complexities of crime and punishment, Bicaria's insights remain as relevant and thought-provoking as ever.